and now on SNJ TV One, Road Trip. Hello and welcome to Road Trip. It's a shorter road trip for us today, distance-wise, as we're going to the north of Bristol in Patchway, where we're going to be seeing uh, the last Concorde that flew. Uh, it's housed in a, a museum at Aerospace. If you just want footage of Concorde, you'll need to skip forward to 3 minutes and 40 seconds. This part of the video concentrates on pricing and showing you what is in the main exhibition centre. The entrance to the hall is a short walk from the car park. And once you enter, you'll find the information and payment desk. Adult tickets are £16.50 children £9. There are various group options with two adults and two children at £46. These prices are correct as of January 2019. This is the layout of the exhibition hall with all the larger items listed. The Sea Harrier listed at number 16 was something I was particularly interested in seeing. Here are the tickets. They do last one year, so you can come back as many times as you like. The items in the exhibition hall are well spaced out, and there's plenty to read, if that's what you enjoy. And there's plenty to see, if, like me, you just like wandering around and filming stuff. Through these double doors is a snackateria where they sell food and drink and close by there are toilets as well. There's an outside area so when it's warm or sunny you can sit outside and have, have your food and drink. There's quite a lot of room there. And then it's on to the main event. Through the doors and we're on our way to see Concord. You might need to take a brolly and a coat on rainy days. Looking on Google Earth it's pretty obvious to see where Concord is housed. The walk from the cafe area only takes a minute or so. And this is what we've come to see. This is Alpha Foxtrot on her final flight. She's going to be flying over the Clifton Suspension Bridge and landing at Filton Airport. The housing of Concord looks superb in the silver grey cladding. You walk through the double doors, show your ticket, and then you're straight into seeing Concord.
We thoroughly enjoyed our time visiting Concord. It's a great rainy day visit as all the attractions are undercover. The whole site has been made as accessible as possible to all, but it should be noted that Concord itself was not designed with wheelchairs in mind. For the latest information on opening times, events and current pricing go to aerospacebristol.org. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can leave comments in the usual places. If you care to like and subscribe, that would be much appreciated. Thank you for watching. Thank you.